Hey, what's up everybody? It's Daydreams. Welcome back to the channel for another video here in Revenge of Sultan. So guys, we had a very interesting day today. One where we woke up, wasn't really sure what we were going to do. Um, you know, heard both sides of, you know, what, what TBH and PYT were saying and what BSQ were saying. And honestly, man, it, it was pretty crazy. Basically, the deal, for one, no one... I shouldn't have to I shouldn't be having to ask for like where where our place is and you know why one team just decided they get the the throne first when maybe we wanted the throne first and maybe you know maybe PYT would have deserved the throne first but you know I'll just be perfectly blunt with you guys I don't like TBH's leader Poseidon I'm pretty pretty honest usually in these games and I think he's uh I think he's a liar and I think I don't like his I just I I've played this game for so long there's like different molds of personalities and there's this one type where they're really they're solid to have if you can like you know keep them under control but you know he already tried breaking LOK up once I've been pretty silent about it but yeah he he definitely tried to do it um, he did get some members to leave some very good members like Mikey and Lullaby to leave so um, and others that left and came back so you know it he just he he said that he wanted to merge that he did this all so that way well, he could create tbh to merge back into lk but then you know he never said another word about it so i just kind of sat back like all right dude d do what you do but you know i'm not and then then today you know i was i was i was gonna work with them just because you know they're another english alliance but he he's another king g that's exactly what he is he is a king g clone he is like a miniature king g is exactly how he is he's got that same like uh dedication to to manipulation like uh he's always manipulating things and uh talking to people and and, and playing his game and he's good at it but you know it, that, that it doesn't really matter i've never had a problem with those type of people because I'm just straight up honest with everybody and let them know what's going on. But anyways, guys, we did end up winning the throne. We're worth BSQ now. They're an Iranian alliance. If you look on the alliance power rankings, they are second place in, in, in power right now. So um, some of our members are still in there, though. So that'll change a little bit. But, you know, they're a, they're a solid team. And, you know, I'm, I'm cool with pretty much pretty much cool with everybody everybody in the kingdom well until today but um yeah that's uh that's who we'll be that's who we'll be rocking with uh nightcaller he speaks perfect english and he's a pretty cool dude so pretty glad to um you know actually have a good relationship where you know we see eye to eye with our allies and allies aren't like trying to look down on us and stuff so guys i wanted to make this video about the equipment and stuff because I'm going to be upgrading my equipment. I've been saving the materials for a long time because I wasn't really doing any attacking for a while. But we're going to start attacking and stuff again. So right now I'm going to take off all of my equipment. And remember guys, we can always change our attributes. I'm going to take off the equipment because I don't know which ones I'm going to upgrade and stuff. I know the pants I already have strengthened a lot. So let's just start with this, the weapon. I think I do need some steel. But we should be okay. Let's check. Okay, we're good on steel. We still have a bunch. Forge it up. Okay, we can accelerate with speed ups. That's good. That way we don't have to burn up. I don't. I don't like burning up gold for speeding stuff up. All right, so we upgrade that bad boy. What do we need for the next level? Level twenty. The longbow. Forge it up. Perfect. All right, we'll do the longbow now. Accelerate that bad boy. Up. Oh, one more. One hour. Okay, so now we have the longbow level 20. Is it worth it to go with the level 25, or should I just, like, even everything out? So we'll equip that. Let's get out of the pants. We already have it at level 5, but uh, it's already upgraded to level 12. Let's do this, Forge. Uh, do we have to do this on the last one? Oh, because it was already upgraded. There wasn't as many of them. I was like, how come it doesn't feel like we had to do this in the last one? Okay, so 
we'll get this equipment set up and then I'm gonna I'm gonna set it up just how we need it so this should be pretty fun you know I'm not an expert at the equipment system in Revenge of Sultans but it's cool to you know do a video like this where I can learn about it and then you guys can learn alongside with me and then you guys always give me tips in the comments and stuff so I really appreciate that let's just get everything up to level 10 real quick before we because I don't want to start running out of materials and have some level 5 and some level you know 30 because I already got some up to level 25 right is that where sword is okay we're gonna equip that I'm gonna go back let's do our armor next yeah it's level 5 uh, what did we get our weapon up to let me check it in a second Okay, accelerate, boom, boom. There we go, equip it. Okay, we gotta do the shoes and then the gloves. Level 10, it's good that we're not running out of materials just yet. Ah, eh, whatever, 15, waste 15 minutes. We're gonna do the gloves and then we're gonna We'll just keep upgrading until we run out of materials and we'll start strengthening and stuff that's what that's what really gives you the juice is when you strengthen stuff on up speed is up yeah i probably should have been like upgrading these as i go but like i said guys you know you know i'm i'm so busy with these games that a lot of times i i miss out on doing stuff like this so we got a level 20 um long bow I wonder if it'd be better okay so look when whenever you upgrade stuff the the strength the strengthening stuff resets now what I want to know guys and my question for those of you that are really experienced players well, we got all kinds of gold there do, do you get those back Do you get those strengthening stones back or do you lose them or do you get a percentage of them back because if you lose them for good it basically makes it useless to upgrade to strengthen your equipment until you really have the you know the stuff that you want and you can see okay yeah I kept my random attributes I believe I don't know though I don't see any war machine no okay wow and it it changes here let's let's check here Archer defense infantry attack infantry HP and then the, the base one is um, infantry attack so level 25 forge we're gonna again remove that go there level 25 so forge these up put that level 20 piece of equipment in there and we're gonna speed it up so let's see if it gives us different attributes I don't think it gave us different attributes did it I have a really bad memory I already forgot but yeah I remember Archer Defense was the first one but it upgrades our base attack though soldier attack now 5.4 percent so soldier defense is on that soldier training speed on that soldier HP on the pants so the pants the sword and the armor are attack defense and HP I remember this now from my previous equipment video I did a while ago and then the rest of them are just random attributes that's upgrading speed for buildings so that's always good to have too um, and then you got training speed there that's pretty cool um, you could always do second sets of equipment with 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 your equipment as well I don't think it's something that I'll do let's see if I can make if I can upgrade these to level what 20 or level 15 what level is it let's check the level 20 I can't tell okay yeah we're going up to level 20 we should be about out of we're gonna be out of materials here soon I'll have to get more material packs it's just you know yeah see I'm getting a little materials to see if we would have enough for 25 no see we're short one material for 25 the thing is guys is that always trying to get the the resource packs or this pack or that pack you know I'm always okay I do need to get this upgraded I think I'll, I'll I should have enough to get this upgraded to level 15 I'm guessing might be short nope see if we can get this up to level 15 
Uh, wait, do we already have a level 15? Those look awfully similar. Let's go back and double check. Level 20. Okay, no, I guess they just look very similar. Look, level 10 and level 15 are the same thing. Noble coat and noble robe, but they look exactly the same. I guess the middle of it is slightly different, but very similar. Okay, so we got some dope equipment now. All we have to do is like strengthen it and stuff. But before I do that, guys, I have a very important question and some homework for you. Do I get my strengthening stones and stuff back when I upgrade? Or do I lose all that? Because if I if I lose it all, then I don't think I should even upgrade it until I get to level, let's see, level 35 or 40 equipment. Because I'm trying, my Lord level is the next thing I'm working on. Because I'm very far behind everybody in the kingdom, guys. Because I don't use any of my... Like, I've never, I've never drained my stamina hitting monsters. Like, I just don't have time for it. So, you know, that's costing me multiple levels. At least five or six levels in Lord level compared to everybody else who's hitting monsters every day. That's the one thing I miss the most about mobile gaming is being able to just grind one game and grind it and be the best in the kingdom because you're just playing and putting everything into that one game. It's one thing I do miss about mobile gaming. But anyways, guys, that's it for this video. I wanted to do a quick... Um, you know show you guys the equipment upgrades and everything we definitely definitely did some upgrading and yeah there's definitely going to be some battle videos i'm going to be um i got so much power to build i just I, I i keep running out of um i keep running out of resources i've got so many so many speed ups and everything um from the packs but i just don't have the resources to go that crazy because i'm also trying to get up to level I'm trying to get up to level 28. Um, many of you know, especially those of you in the Alliance know, I stopped upgrading for about a week, week or so, maybe a little over a week to push uh, Ripcord with all of our farms to level 30 because his stats are so strong. He's the strongest castle in the kingdom, but he just, uh, he focused so much on science because, you know, when you get into the college, like my, my college is only level 18. I... I haven't been focusing as heavily on science. Everything that I can upgrade at level 18 is already upgraded. But actually, when I'm done upgrading my military buildings to level 26, and I'm going to keep doing my castle, I'm going to start doing my science next because it's behind. My, my drill grounds is behind. Many of my buildings are behind. Um, but like I said, I just don't have the time to grind it as much as I want to. But I'll still be a you know military force in the kingdom. You can believe that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know about the equipment. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.